Hi, I'm showing you a map here of uh, the southern half of Pleasant Valley. It goes uh, six and a quarter miles as the crow flies from the Pleasant Valley Schoolhouse to the town site of Pleasant of uh, Poposki. And the reason I'm showing you this is because um, back when the Farmers Club, the Pleasant Valley Farmers Club, first organized, they decided to um, draw a circle six and a half miles from the Pleasant Valley Schoolhouse and say that was the um, area that the Pleasant Valley Farmers Club would cover with their organization. So that puts Poposki about on the far reaches south of Pleasant Valley. And back in the day when when uh, Pleasant Valley Schoolhouse was built, 1921, there wasn't a lot of roads in the country. And as you see here, just north of the schoolhouse, there's a kind of a trail that goes through the woods right in here. It's called the old stagecoach road. You can't really see it very good. You can kind of see it right in there. It comes along over in there and goes east to my campground and then goes by the campground and right here is the ball diamond that we play ball on at the campground well that stagecoach road keeps going and you can see the footprint pretty good right there and as you go east it used to cross the river right about where that jog is in the river there was beams there and stuff left from that bridge when I was a little kid I'm not real little I suppose 14 or so because I was helping Harold Williams cut hay. And it went on down across through the woods and and went over to Nebish. And that was the main road for a long time back then. So that's why the Pleasant Valley Schoolhouse was the main, was the uh, center because these other roads weren't even there. These, uh, Highway 13, and Highway 32, they were they were a figment of somebody's imagination. And from the schoolhouse, my mom lives right up there where that blue dot is right there. Oops, sorry. Trying to give you a little bit of a vision. And, you know, that's where my mom's is. And that's about two miles from the schoolhouse. Well, it just had trails back then. So... That's why I'm, I give my Pleasant Valley updates from different places. If you look right here, this is Nebish Township. I don't have it drawn. I don't have It's a six by six, six miles square in each direction along the reservation line right there, six miles south. Over here is Alaska Township, and it's three miles by 12. And then you come down here, Jill Parsons Corner, is where, oops, that's Boston Lake there. Jill Parsons Corner is right there. Mud River to the east, and that's the edge of Alaska Township. And then, then it's um, Maple Ridge is this area here, and Nebish is still here. So then you get into the south a little bit further where this curve is. Well, right where this here lake, this George Lake, that's George Lake. That line right there is where Nebish is here, Durand is here, Hagalai Township, I think it is, is over here. And this is the corner of Maple Ridge. Well, it's still Pleasant Valley, but all those townships are involved in it. As you can see my measuring line, I went clear down here to the south where, Ple where Poposki is, and as a, as a crow would fly, yeah, that's six and a quarter miles, but the road is winds all over the place. Well, I would still say that's Pleasant Valley, that means. In other words, everything north of Lake Julia could be considered Pleasant Valley right up to the gut. 
of Highway 13 to come on. I can't get a hold of it anymore. As you can see, it winds around. And so it's almost like saying that Highway 13 is the center of Pleasant Valley, six miles in each direction. And uh, I don't know if that's a good enough explanation to people, but that road wasn't even there at that time. Well, there was a, another road called, there's a trail, called the um, Leech Lake Red Lake Trail, and it kind of comes through the woods by 10 mile and goes south, and then it came out, like Frank was saying, comes out through this way here, and wanders, so I think you might be able to even see it right there. Come down in there. You can see some messes anyhow. I don't know. I know you can see it over here. Right there. You can see it right there. Through the woods. See that? So that's the old Leech Lake Trail. Not, not this. That's a new road. But that one going up in that direction, that's the Leech Lake Trail. Leech Lake, Red Lake Trail. And it came down here and went close to the lake. The Native Americans used it to go to Leech Lake. Went along the lake. Well, you got to remember in 1921 they didn't have even railroads yet then. It just had a bunch of little trails here and there. So, anyway, sort of my explanation. That's kind of poorly a uh, poor explanation, but that's my explanation of Pleasant Valley. Goodbye.